Hi, in today's video, we will compare the armed forces of the United States and Russia. The idea for this video was proposed by the viewer, to whom I send my regards. The Biden administration has struggled to get Congress to approve a $60 billion aid package for Ukraine in the face of opposition from Republican lawmakers. According to former Ukrainian Minister of Defense Andrei Zagorodnik, the delay is beginning to be felt on the battlefield as the pace of ammunition supply slows. On January 16th, the U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, promised sustained U.S. support for Ukraine in a meeting with President Volodymyr Zelensky. We are determined to sustain our support for Ukraine and we're working very closely with Congress in order to work to do that, said Blinken. Interestingly, according to the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine, about 1,000 people join the Russian armed forces every day. The recruits are primarily motivated by high wages, especially for residents of low-income regions of Russia. The representative of the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine added that the Russians have clearly defined that spending a day on the first line of the front means an additional 8,000 rubles to salary, that is, 90 U.S. dollars. For a comparison, the average monthly salary in Russia is around 70,000 rubles, which is roughly 800 U.S. dollars. I would like to point out that some combat planes overlap with training planes. Also, I would like to encourage you to subscribe to this channel, leave a comment with an idea for the next video, and thumbs up or sideways after watching. Let's get started.
Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. See you next time.